it is a beautiful day for a walk well it's kind of a forced walk we had to drop the car off for an oil change and likely some expensive repairs so we'll see but we thought we'd enjoy this nice day it's beautiful out here the temperature is about what is it mid 60s yeah upper 60s upper 60s and not raining yet sun peeking behind the clouds we will just enjoy this walk head back home have a coffee treat ourselves to a muffin and just kind of chill and wait for the car We finished that most of that mark, mark water. Right? So we decided to have an impromptu cookout. So we grabbed some fixins. We're out here on a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. And we've got some hot dogs going on the pizza oven. And just going to enjoy this lovely afternoon. Say hey. I got hoodwinked. Daryl got hoodwinked. We were supposed to go to the gym. But Nicole's coming over for a visit, and we thought this would be a nice time to have so a nice Nicole family hood, cookout. Nicole hoodwinked me. It was real hard.
Well, good morning. Today I was pretty much blessed with a spontaneous day off and I am very happy for it. Normally I try to be super productive and get stuff done, but today I'm just really going to take it easy. My daughter is here and we're going to go to brunch. First we got to pick up the car because my check engine light came on and a couple of issues and it's always something. Thing My car has almost 150,000 miles on it and I'm going to keep keep it rolling on it until the wheels fall off and you know lord willing it'll get me another couple of years i just to make sure i take care of it and you know do the regular maintenance and stuff like that and so far everything's been fine like i said my daughter's here and we're going to go to brunch i think we're going to go to ted's bulletin she's been kind of wishy-washy about um, where she wants to go so we'll see where we head off for lunch One of my forever goals is to get my flexibility back. So I'm going to go use the Mirror app to do some morning stretches. And I did a lot of weights, heavy weights at the gym the day before yesterday. So I really need to get these muscles stretched out because I'm feeling tight and sore. So let's go. I'm just going to find a class or a routine. Let's see, no, 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 I just want to get a good stretch in this morning. Okay, something is going on with this app. It's not connecting or doing something real strange, I don't know. Maybe on our own for stretching this morning. I'll give it a few more minutes and then I'll just do some stretches on my own. That little stretch actually felt very good. It was kind of nice to stretch out my muscles and still a little sore, but I just feel a little bit better getting a good stretch in. I picked out what I'm gonna wear. Just gonna wear this um, cotton-like blue dress and some sandals. I think it's gonna be a beautiful day today. So let me get dressed and I'll catch up with you later. So I'm very sure that if nothing else for the rest of the year, I need to start off every day with some sort of stretching because I just, my body just feels so much better, a little bit looser. I don't feel as tight and uh, as sore with the stretching that I did this morning. And it wasn't, my mirror app wasn't working, so I couldn't do a stretching class per se. So I just stretched on my own and I really need to get back into stretching. I was seriously into yoga about maybe six years ago where I literally did yoga every single day, went to classes a couple of days a week. I probably won't make the time to get that back into yoga, but I definitely, definitely need to do stretching on a regular basis, whether it's yoga on the mirror or just a little stretching every morning because I feel so much better this morning. My neck doesn't feel stiff. My lower back doesn't feel as stiff. Arms still a little sore from my workout, but they just feel just so much better. So definitely gotta get that back into my life. Question for you guys. Have you guys used ChatGPT? I use it off and on. ChatGPT, I can specifically ask the question and it will kind of pull from all the sources online and kind of give me a more concise answer and I really like that. So I thought about, well, why not go ahead and just get a subscription because it limits the amount of questions you can ask. That sucker is $19.99 a month. There is no way I'm using $20 worth a month of ChatGTP. I mean, it's a nice little cute program to have, but um, I just thought that was kind of high. I thought maybe it was going to be $50 for a whole year or something like that, but $20 a month, no, I'll just stick with the free version. They really need to come down on those prices. I was just wondering if any of you guys use ChatGPT, if any of you are subscribed to a ChatGPT type or any type of AI program 
where you pay a fee and you know have unlimited use and do you feel like it's worth it for what you do with it for what I do with it I don't feel like it's worth it maybe once I get into more deep delve into filmmaking it might be helpful but if that's the case I'll just sign up for a course I think I, like I said I like chat GPT but I'm not trying to pay $20 a month for it so let me know what you think uh, what's your opinion how do you use it if you use it if you think it's just a waste of time but just, just wondering So I am back from brunch with Nicole. We've actually been back for a while, so much so that she has gone back to her apartment. And I'm back at the house just kind of relaxing, watching a little bit of YouTube and hydrating. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and change because Daryl and I are gonna go for a walk um, after he's finished work. It's always fun catching up with Nicole. She is back in school now and she's doing her senior year online, so she's living close in the area, not too far away, has a cute little cozy apartment over there, and she's really happy there. So this is gonna be a great year for her, and a great year for both of us because it's nice just being closer together and being able to have these moments where we can just hang out and do a little girl talking, so. We always have fun, we have a really good relationship. We talk a lot, laugh a lot, and I just enjoy having the time to get together with her this year as far as, as opposed to her being so far away from home. And it's gonna be a really good year and I'm looking forward and I'm very excited to just, just having her close to home and it's been really great. I'm gonna go change because we're gonna take that walk later. Catch up with you later, bye.
Happy Friday. I am home from work. Fridays are pretty typical. I'm usually pretty close. To, my commute's not too bad. And it just started your typical Friday. I always get up a little bit early. My morning routine is so straightforward. It's barely anything other than shaking my hair out, brushing my teeth, washing my face, and moisturizing, and of course deodorant. So I usually take my showers at night because I need that extra time in the morning. I need my coffee. I need my little morning breakfast and I need decompression time. I did start taking the time to stretch in the morning, mainly because of my lower back. I want to get it in better shape. I want to increase my flexibility. I just want to basically stay limber. So I did do some stretching this morning before I left, but I did get my decompression time. That's always going to happen. I don't care how early I need to get up. I need that time for me. So like I said, on Fridays, my commute's not too bad. It's less than five miles, so not bad at all. My car, my baby, my heart, <laughs> I say that because it's my main mode of transportation to get to said job, has reached 150,000 miles. Wow. When I first started working here in this area, I was going all the way to Maryland. I was going very, very far. So I put a lot of miles on my car, considering it's only a 20... 16 yeah 2016 so it's around eight years old and it's got 150,000 miles I just can't believe it but you know what I'm driving that thing till the wheels fall off so if I take care of it it will take care of me work today I mean work was work I want to talk about something I want to talk about politics at work should people really be discussing politics at work my humble opinion I say no but I don't know I guess it depends on your work environment my work environment, it's always someone is higher over someone. So the reason I don't think you should talk politics at work is because there's always this, I don't want to say this. I just believe we should leave politics out of the job because, you know, we want to keep it demure. We want to keep it mindful. We want to keep it classy. And not everybody agrees on every one thing. And we don't have to agree on everything. But like I said, at work, there's always this work dynamic where someone is always over someone. There's always some kind of hierarchy at work. And I feel like when you talk to pol when you talk politics, certain people don't get to say what they want to feel. Whether you're conservative or liberal, when someone's over you with a different mindset, you don't get to express yourself. I'm usually that person over other people. I don't want to say over other people, but there's usually the in the relationship a work relationship. Usually it's the doctor, the nurses, the techs, blah, 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 blah. So I feel like when you have a doctor kind of talking his politics, people don't get to really say what they feel because it's just awkward. You don't say certain things to people who are quote unquote your boss. So I feel like, you know, talk politics amongst your friends and at home, but leave work I hate to use this term safe space, but just leave work that space where people can just come and do their jobs and go the fuck home if they want to without any drama or hurting people's feelings. I mean, the only reason why I said this because, you know, I kind of was avoiding the conversation, but I kind of got drug into it. And my politics are complicated. I basically hate every fucking body. I literally hate every fucking body. So I will argue with conservatives. I will argue with liberals. I will argue with Democrats. I will argue with Republicans. I will argue with libertarians. I will argue with anybody because I just don't like anybody. So that's why I feel like I don't like to talk work. I don't like to talk politics at work because I just don't like anybody. So, you know, I made my little comment because I got dragged in it. It was kind of like, you're being the odd man out by not saying anything. And literally, I got the silent treatment for the better of four hours. Now, mind you, I didn't mind it too much because as long as people were silent and not talking, work was getting done and we were getting the hell out of there on a Friday. So that's just my humble opinion that I just don't think that politics need to be brought up at work. What's your opinion? Let me know down in the comments below. It's, it's, a, it's a free country and people have the right to talk about whatever they want, say whatever they want. And I truly, I genuinely and truly believe that but sometimes you just gotta leave that shit at home that, that that's just my humble opinion so it is 5 35 so we need to get ready for the gym because i'm trying to keep these muscles a muscling i hope i'm in focus it's hard to tell anyway so i'm gonna get ready to head to the gym i will talk to you lovely people later
back from the gym. I'm about to head in the shower and then I'm going to pop some popcorn, watch a little bit of YouTube. And that pretty much wraps up the Friday. Um, we spent it at the gym. Now we're home chilling because we decided that we're going to be gym bros on Friday. So I'm officially a gym girl on Fridays. That's where you will find me at the gym trying to get all this together. I'm going to stop obsessing about it. I'm just going to go to the gym, eat as right as I can, and live my life because I'm tired of the scale. I'm tired of the in-body machine. I am tired of all of it. So we're just going to live our lives and do the best we can. And I say that now, but then I'll probably be obsessing about it next week. But we did decide that we were going to try intermittent fasting, and we're going to start that tomorrow. So our food window is going to be between... 12 p.m. and 7 p.m. On gym days, it's going to be 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. just to allow for some time to get home and eat. So let's see how that goes and if we have any progress trying intermittent fasting. I was about ready to give up and go get a burger from across the street, but then we decided, hey, let's give either the military diet or intermittent fasting a try. I'm going to try intermittent fasting because I'm tired of obsessing about this. If it doesn't work, like I said, I'm just going to exercise, do the best I can, just live my life because I can't spend the rest of my time obsessing about this. There's too many things out there. So I hope this isn't triggering for anybody, but we just live in a society where we just obsess about our weight and also obsess about eating. So <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I really don't know. So I'm going to take a shower and probably reward myself with some popcorn and watch a little YouTube. And that's about it, because I'm tired, very tired. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, what are we doing? We got to go pick up the RV, not pick up the RV, but get the, the RV was in service because some squirrels got into the AC unit and um, chewed up the wiring and it was ridiculously expensive. So we got to go pay that bill. And then we got to go talk to the cabinet people about getting the kitchen remodeled. I think they're going to give us the final price and the markup and all that stuff. Ugh, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I really want this kitchen done, but it's going to be a big expense. So, but it's got to get done. It doesn't have to get done. We just want it done. And then we're going to come back and probably do some grilling, grill some lean steak and probably uh, may or may not have a, a carb. We're doing the intermittent fasting, so maybe we'll have a carb, like some new potatoes and probably some either Brussels sprouts. Yeah, Brussels sprouts. I was thinking maybe asparagus, but probably Brussels sprouts. And that's it for tomorrow. That, well, that's the plan for tomorrow. So <sighs> I'm so tired. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good night. Scott oh, Tower. I need to be here in a couple of days. Oh shit, you know what I just remember? I don't have bananas, but I do have yams. Okay, so I got a question for you guys. This is basically a sweet potato. It's full of sugar. Bacteria love sugar. The only reason that this doesn't have a bunch of bacteria growing in it is because of the canning process. They put all the yams in here, they superheat it to kill all the bacteria, they seal it up so no bacteria can get in. Basically, this is... Good morning. I have gotten up. I've gotten my stretch. I have washed up and now I'm about to get dressed. 
I'm about to put on this Old Navy dress that I got. Um, I really got it for wearing to like a beach cover up, but I think it would be kind of cute to wear today. We are going to go pick up the RV. Well, not pick up the RV, basically go pay the pay for the repairs on the RV. That's all the way in Woodbridge. Then we're gonna go back to the cabinet discounter's place to see what our grand total is for redesigning our kitchen and grocery store to get some steaks to put on the grill tonight and back to the house. So let me get dressed and I will catch up with you. Okay, I really like this dress. Um, it's a little bit blousey. I probably could have gone with the small. This is a medium. Uh, yeah, I definitely could have gone with the small because it's got so much room pretty much everywhere. Oops, I can't cram it up with it. And put my favorite pockets. Just small enough to probably fit you guys. Let's see. <laughs> that was silly. Uh, yeah, pockets you. So that's what really made me in love with this dress. I love everything with pockets. I might go back and see if they have it. In, no, this was the summer type collection and they've got the fall stuff going on. So they probably don't have any more of these. But I'd love to go back and get it in a different color and a smaller size. I, I really like this dress. It's very comfortable. Probably because it's a little too big, but <laughs> we roll. So let me finish getting dressed, go down and have my coffee. Oh. I still got clothes to fold. Uh, I do not feel like doing that. Yeah. Ooh, my muscles are so tight. Yeah, this feels good. Yeah, but when they're sitting still, they're not in use. That's that's what had happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's what we think happened. That's what we, yeah, really we think. Yeah. So the make covers for when you park them. But when you park it, right? Yes. And I think we got one maybe right here. Okay. Have to look up on your ticket and see which one fits your unit. Okay. okay. But okay. we do have a white one in stock that would possibly fit it. I just got to make verify which one okay. fits your unit to make sure that it's the right one. Okay. Um, gotcha. Okay. But other than that. This is about the only thing that would help. Is it a common thing? I mean, because I'm thinking all the RVs we got, where, this is bad luck. I, I was know. about to say, where do you park is the biggest thing. Yeah. It really could happen anywhere, to be honest with you. Yeah. 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 Um, but you also got to remember, it could have been in there on the last, from the last trip you took. Yeah. That's what I, yeah. yeah. Because. Through we the trees. I was going to say, trip. trees is your biggest enemy with varmints and stuff mm -hmm. because okay. it goes over top of you. Yeah. This is the first time it happens. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, even though it could have happened pretty quickly mm -hmm. on our last trip, we were out at a uh, winery. Um, and yeah, we did park over And we were trees. under trees for overnight for, for hours. Like, very, very possible. Very, mm -hmm. very possible. Yeah. So, so um, we are in the parking lot waiting for our total wine order. Oh, we did so much this morning. We got to the RV and of course one component didn't work. I'll go over that later because that's a pain in the butt. It had to do with the AC unit and the battery. Then we were late to our appointment for cabinet discounters and we got there almost 30 minutes late but it was fine because our next appointment didn't show up anyway. 
and we are you know I don't want to say complete sticker shock over the price it was probably about what we expected which is still relatively high so we're gonna go ahead forward and get this done because we really want this kitchen done it's gonna be great it's gonna be fantastic it's gonna be wonderful that's what I tell myself <laughs> well no it really is gonna be good and if they ever get out here with our order, we can hit the grocery store because we have a hungry 20 year old that's gonna be looking for steaks around 4.30. 21 year old? Did I say 21 year old? Yeah, what did 20. I say? Oh, 21 year old. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then we've been doing, well, we just started this intermittent fasting and I'm starving. It is so 2.55 and we were supposed to start eating by what, one? The latest. Yeah, by one. So we're over the time for eating and all we're running on is black coffee from this morning. And I need to get something in my tummy. So come on, Total Wine, come through. Uh, no, that's not this. Uh, come through, come through so we can get to the store and get up out of here. Ah, here, here we are. Oh, I gotta get some grocery bags. Mm-hmm. 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 